Greetings. I've been trying to figure out this bug on my ESP32 C3 uh, for the last several days and after searching online I finally uh, figured it out on my own today so I wanted to share it with you because I could not find this fix uh, very easy solution online. The problem is we're getting a SHA 256 comparison failed when I try to load and run a program and it goes into a boot loop where it boots and then uh, has the error and then it boots again and continues uh, looping and booting. So that's the issue um, and let me show you what it looks like and how I fixed it very easily. So this is with the Arduino IDE. So what I was using was just the simple uh, ESP32C3 samples and I was going down to the the web server and I was using uh, many of these including the hello server. So let's choose the hello server and we're going to run it uh, right out of the box. You'll see that I have I have a um, I have an ESP uh, 32 C3 dev module board hooked up and you can see my um, I've got it connected to the port so we're just gonna try to upload it and then we're gonna bring up while that's running we're gonna bring up the serial monitor and we'll wait for the um, compilation and the uploading to go Uploading is starting. We'll switch over to the um, serial monitor in a minute. And we'll see the uh, boot loop as it starts. So there it is. It just continues to boot. SHA 256 comparison failed. So here's the solution. Um, I thought it had to do with Wi-Fi or something, but it turns out it has to do with using GPIO 13. And as we'll see in a minute, uh, that's not a good thing to do. So I change it to another uh, good GPIO pin like 19. And we will just simply start that compile and upload and clear our screen for the serial monitor wait for it to load and as we'll see in a moment here um, there's no more booting error loops and what we're going to do here is actually uh, you'll see the loop problem is fixed what we what we have here is we have a um, we have um, my SSID and password are missing, so the serial monitor is just um, trying to connect to a Wi-Fi that it's never going to do. So that's the fix to the problem, and then we'll look at the uh, pinouts and we'll examine why that is. Now we're looking at the ESP32C3 dev kit uh, program, programming guide from Espressif. We want to look at the pinouts to see what may have been causing that problem. And if we go down and look at pin 13 is a 5 volt power supply. So apparently uh, flipping that on or off or whatever you're doing to set it as a pinout or is not a good idea. So we in turn changed it to GPIO 19, which happens to be uh, pin number 13, but has a name of 19. So clearly some confusion in the way that works for this particular board 
And if you happen to have any pin 13s in use for this board, just change them to 19. And that should get you around the SHA problem. All right, thank you.